Welcome to the Woodpreneur Podcast, the number one podcast for the business and marketing side of the lumber, woodworking, hardwood flooring, and sawmill industry. I'm your host, Steve from Acres of Timber. Each week, we feature various wood business owners and entrepreneurs from around the globe. We share their stories, paths, insights, so that you can network, learn, and grow your own wood business. Thank you so much for listening. Now enjoy the episode. The Woodpreneur Podcast is proudly sponsored by Acres CRM. Acres CRM is the wood industry's only customer relationship management software dedicated to helping you automate your sales and marketing so that you can focus on serving your customers and growing your business. You can visit acresoftimber.com to learn more and to schedule a demo. Once again, that's acresoftimber.com. Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Woodpreneur Podcast. This is your host, Steve. And uh, today we have no guest, uh, so it's just me, solo episode. So uh, first off, uh, I haven't done a solo episode in uh, many, many months, um, and uh, we've been giving you lots of content, lots of great interviews, um, lots of you know new and different people that you probably haven't heard from before. Um, you know, I just want to reiterate the reason why I started the Woodpreneur podcast was um, you know, when I first started this six years ago, I felt like uh, there weren't a lot of podcasts or platforms uh, out there that were really dedicated to uh, marketing and advertising part of the wood industry, right? And um, there was a lot of shop talks, a lot of talks about like techniques and, um, but, you know, I, I met this this group of people that were really uh sort of business minded, right? They wanted to provide for their family. It wasn't a hobby. Um, you know, they wanted to build actual businesses that were bigger uh, than their garage, right? Um, no offense, no diss to garage folks. Um, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. We all start somewhere. Um, but you know, the, the biggest thing is that we, they, these people, they wanted to, to grow something bigger, something that they could leave behind, build a legacy. And so that's how Woodpreneur was founded. And, you know, for me, um, I've been an, an entrepreneur and a marketer for 20 years. And uh, I, I met, uh, you know, I married into a family of, of uh, woodpreneurs and woodworkers and tree farmers and sawyers. And a lot of those, uh, those folks, uh, you know, I just fell in love with the process, uh, the people that, you know, create something from nothing, work with their hands. Um, and I wanted to use my marketing skills uh, in order to help them. You know, the first person I really helped was my father-in-law, helped build his business. Um, and, uh, and then I started working with other people in order to do that. Lots of sawyers, lots of woodworkers, lots of furniture designers, lumber folks. And, and you know, the, the biggest thing that I found in a common thread with all of them were, you know, they were hardworking. They were... Uh, great people to be around, great to talk to, but they had this hunger and desire for more. And so that's why I started the podcast because I wanted, you know, when you're in your shop and you're in your mill, um, you're building stuff, you're working on a project, um, it's it's lonely, right? There's not a lot of people around you. Um, if they are around you, they're, they're potentially competitors. You don't get along with them. And honestly, the biggest thing that I wanted to do was to help people think bigger in their life. And so as an entrepreneur myself, I found that I grew so much when I was around people and I was able to uh, grow and th thrive and flourish because I was part of a community. And so Woodpreneur is this community. It's bigger than, you know, me. Um, you know, we have a large network and database and I've been doing these these traveling wood printer meetups. I've done uh, New York. No, not New York yet. I've done Chicago. I've done uh, Dallas, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, San Diego, Indianapolis. And I just did one. Oh, and St. Louis. So I d I've done six so far this year. And you know, uh, if you are in a city and you can organize some people, <laughs> Uh, just message me at Acres of Timber on Instagram, and I'd be more than happy to come out. I'm I'm planning to come to go to Pacific Northwest. I want to go to Seattle, uh, Portland, 
uh, Sacramento, San Francisco, Bay Area, um, Los Angeles. I have like a West Coast trip in me. Um, I also have a sort of Midwest. I'd like to go to uh, Minneapolis, um, uh, Wisconsin, uh, like Milwaukee area. That's not too far from me in Chicago. And then I also have like potentially a uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Virginia, North Carolina. There's a lots of woodpreneurs in North Carolina, um, and uh, my hometown of New York. So yeah, those are those are things that I'm planning in the next six months. And uh, if I miss your city, I'm probably actually due for another Texas trip because Texas is massive. So I, I've only been to Dallas. I know there's Houston and um, Austin. Actually, speaking of, I'm going to Austin, and if you are in Austin. August 27th. I'm actually not going to do a meetup, but I'm going to do a workshop. So August 27th, uh, October 27th, if you're in Austin, reach out. I will get you details. Um, but yeah, so that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's the idea behind Woodpreneur. Uh, you know, I, I love this community and I've met so many amazing people and great friends and, uh, you know, my business aside from hosting this podcast is, to do marketing and advertising and I coach and I mentor folks. I could talk more about my coaching and mentoring program afterwards, but um, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to, to sort of highlight because there's lots of new downloads and lots of new listeners. And I want to, I want to be able to share uh, the history behind the woodpreneur community uh, with you. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, so, you know, when I first started the Woodprinter podcast, it was really centered around sawmills. And uh, later on, I realized that uh, the Woodprinter community is pretty, pretty big. So I started adding in some tree people. I started um, furniture makers. I started adding in some content creators into the Woodprinter community. And then uh, furn so furniture, lumber. Uh, tree flooring and then you know I've been meeting another layer of woodpreneur and it is um, it's the carpenter the finished trim carpenters there's also the um, uh, the renovators the construction contractors like and cabinet makers like there's so there's like the the woodprinter communities like this great depth of people, um, you know. There's timber frame folks, right? Like I got I got uh, tagged and commented online about like the timber like the OG uh, woodpreneurs or the timber frame builders. Um, so yeah, so I'm I'm adding those people to the woodpreneur community because I really want to show the vast nature um, and the different directions that you can go, like. If you are building tables and furniture, you can do built-ins, you can do cabinets, um, kitchen, right? And then a step beyond that is like do entryways. You could do, right, like lockers, like this. And, and you know, again, for, for the thing that I'm looking at, right, is if you look at the lowest sort of lowest priced item in the woodpreneur community, it's probably like a charcuterie board or a cutting board, right? And then you can start elevating as you get more skills or you develop more tools or your your ambition gets bigger that you can start like layering up. So you can go from selling lumber to, you know, making furniture, making furniture. You can do construction, uh, cabinet, renovation, like and all within those. It's really about building the diversity of your of your income and your portfolio and your skill set, because um, uh, you can uh, make an okay living just with charcuterie boards and uh, and and cutting boards. Um, but having a thriving uh, business that uh, really provides for you, um, you know, uh, I know I'm probably going to hear, it, but. There's, you know, you can you can build it. You can build a good living with shark with cutting boards and charcuterie boards. That's all you do. Um, but uh, to really scale up, it's about having higher ticket items, right? It's either the volume or the higher the price item, right? And so it depends on what you want to build. 
So um, that's what I wanted to sort of help ex have explain to you the diversity within the woodpreneur community. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, well, that was the second thing. The second, first thing was thanks for the growth, and this is this is how we've done it. Um, and then the second thing is, I'm you know the woodpreneur community is expanding. Uh, Another thing is we're bringing back new merch. So um, next couple of weeks for the holidays, um, you'll check out our shop and our blog, woodpreneurlife.com. If you're on video, you can see I have a new hat. There's going to be new colorways, um, new sweaters, new hoodies. We're going to have like, you know, logos and sayings and words all pretty much designed to motivate and inspire you and to have you like you're part of something bigger than yourself right um I'm, I'm happy about that so um right now it's the fourth quarter right and so uh fourth quarter is the biggest and most profitable time for a woodpreneur and i want to help you make this one of the most successful uh quarters in your business history so I'm gonna go through like a quick checklist for you. Um, I do have a checklist. If you want to, I can send this to you. But yeah, so I have I have a checklist for the fourth quarter in order for you to start thinking about, um, I mean, it's already almost halfway of October, so uh, um, you, you, you can get through it. So anyway, so fourth quarter marketing, holiday marketing checklist. Uh, first thing, so it's, breaks down into uh, goals and offers, right? Um, the next thing is planning and assets. And then the third thing is your ads and a campaign, right? And so um, I'll just run through it very quickly, a checklist for you to think about as you pull together, um, you know, all of your holiday uh, Q4 marketing, all right? So the first thing I want you to think about is um, like, what are your goals, right? Like, do you want more leads? Do you want more revenue? Do you want more traffic? Um, this is gonna be really, really crucial for you. A great way for you to start thinking about this um, is look at October, November, December of the prior year. And then I want you to um, start setting some benchmarks and goals. So. If you did, you know, 30,000, 50,000, uh, 10,000, right, last year, how can you do 10, 20% better, right? Whoever bought from you last year, you should definitely go back to them and, and either uh, sell to them again or uh, get a referral, right? Um, that's the first thing is set a goal, right? Leads, traffic, revenue, followers, but it pretty much all comes down to revenue. Next thing is what is your main product or offer, right? So you can't necessarily do everything, but you can do some things, right? And so if you sold tables, if you sold built-ins, if you sold uh, breakfast nooks, if you did, you know, pergolas, like anything that was like that, what your core product is and, um, and how you actually figure out what your core product is, is like, what do you have the most time for? What are people asking for the most? Um, and uh, what do you love to do, right? What are people asking for? What do you love to do? And, um, and what is the most profitable, right? Um, and then the next thing are, what are bonus and incentives can you offer to get people in? I'm not talking about discounting, but how can you add value for that? Um, the next is thinking about what is your timeline and deadline for making and you're delivering your product because lots of times people want things before the end of the year, right? So like working backwards from, you know, let's say five days out from, from Christmas or so or the end of the year, um, you know, when's the last day you want to take orders and then work backwards from there, figure out how much it will cost you in order to you to do it. And then, uh, and then just, then just put that out there. That's your goal. So if it's like five breakfast nooks or, you know, 30 charcuterie boards or 12 tables or, you know, 10 accent walls, like whatever it is, 
think about, uh, put that as your goal. The other thing too is like, can you build anticipation up for the holidays? Because there's actually a couple different things. You have like October's, you know, like fall. No, November is Thanksgiving, uh, and then September is you know Christmas. So you actually have like three different holidays that you could be marketing, right? Um, and then working back from some from there, like what are your milestones? Like what are the things that you need to accomplish? Right. We'll talk about more of this about like your marketing, getting your tools prepped, your assets, um, you know, your first campaign launch. Right. Like those are sorts of things. And and then lastly, is like, how can you track your progress? What are the, your key performance indicators? What are the important uh, steps in uh, in in building this campaign? Right. It's like. If you made X amount of dollars last year, if you made twenty five thousand dollars in the last quarter, if you made fifty thousand or a hundred thousand in your last quarter, like how can you beat that this year, right? Um, so that's the first thing. So it's like the first step is like goals and offers, right? And so that's the first chunk. The second chunk is planning and your assets. So like you need to start planning and you need to uh, get your assets ready, right? So. Organize your assets and you can do this on like Google Drive or, you know, some sort of organized folder, but like get your website, landing pages, social profiles ready, start consolidating all of your photos, your videos, reviews and testimonials, like start hitting up people now to get, get those because you're going to use those to remarket to people. And then the last thing is like, What's your copy? Like, what are your captions? What are your copy that you're going to use? Um, then you're going to start either creating or updating things. Um, start building together a list. Get it all together in a mailing uh, a mailing list software like MailChimp or, you know, hit us up to talk about Acre CRM. And then start planning out your content calendar. What are you going to post every day? Um, what are you going to email? What do you What are you going to put out there in order to let people know about that? All right. So that's the second thing. So the first is goals. The second thing is planning, um, and then uh, the third is uh, ads and campaigns. Right. And so start to think about a budget. Right. So organic is only going to get you so far. It's only going to get you so far. So I would start allocating some money towards marketing and advertising. Uh, there's Facebook, Google PPC, Instagram, right? And then put a value on your leads, right? So knowing if a table costs you five or 10,000, costs somebody five or $10,000, like how much are you willing to pay to acquire that customer? Usually it's around 10 to 20%, right? Um, Start thinking about ads and putting together the ads and the copy for that. Um, there's organic marketing and then there's leveraging your personal brand. We have a personal brand course, which is killer. Um, you know, DM me on Acres of uh, Acres of Timber if you want access. I will like it. It is worth its weight in gold. It's amazing. And then um, doing the algorithm, like priming the algorithm for your launch by doing a giveaway or promotion. Um, with all that, you know, I hope you found that super duper useful. The biggest thing right now is um, I'm finding that a lot of folks are are going at this alone, right? And so not only are they going at this alone, they are um, they are struggling with uh, figuring out their next move and what they uh, what they what they really 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 want in their business, right? Like they are. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just basically, it's, it's a hard, lonely field out there. Right. And so, um, you know, if you are thinking about, uh, how to take your business to the next level, I want you to start, uh, seriously consider joining my mentorship program. Right. And so I have a group mentorship program, um, and, uh, and I'd love to tell you more about it. Um, it's basically designed for people that are looking to get to six figures in their wood business. They usually ha are like are making money and 
but they want to get to the next level. Um, they want a roadmap and a strategy that's designed for them. Um, and uh, they want the support in order for them to get there. Um, so with our mentorship program, um, you won't feel alone. You'll get a plan, you'll get the support, and you'll have the community that's there to sort of root you on. And so we've seen some really great results with folks that have joined the program. People within you know 30 to 60 days made their money back that they've invested. Um, and then they've also like quit their jobs. I've helped si five people so far in 2022 quit their jobs to go full time. Last year was two people that I've helped and those people have broken like low six figures in their businesses, which is incredible and it makes me super proud. Um, but I have a I have a training. If you go to woodpreneur.com, um, and I will walk through the four steps in order for you to grow and scale your business past six figures. Go to woodpreneur.com and there's like a video, it's a 20 minute training. And then at the end of the training, I have an application. And so you'll fill that out. And if you want to, and you'll get to see testimonials, you get to see things, um, what people are saying, uh, you know, some of my results. But if you are listening to this and you really want to, and you're in a position to invest in growing your business beyond the tools and you want my support um, in helping to grow and scale your business, go to uh, woodpreneur.com or send me a DM at Acres of Timber on Instagram and I'd be more than happy to, to tell you about the program and see if it's the right fit. If it's not the right fit, honestly, I will tell you and I will tell you because um, I'm not here to like just make money. I'm here to make an impact. And I really want to be able to help people grow and scale their company because like if you're happy in doing, uh, you know, what you love every single day and getting paid for it really well and you have the flexibility of having your family around and you don't have to ask a boss for time off or, you know, if you want to, you know what I mean? Like there's just like this freedom that you get from being a woodpreneur um, or an entrepreneur that you just kind of don't get anywhere. And then the other thing is if you are full time and you are feeling a little stuck and you're unsure how to grow your business, I've helped businesses go from, you know, low six figures to, uh, to high six figures to seven figures. And I've helped uh, one company go to eight figures. And so um, and I personally have grown a business to seven figures, uh, meaning over a million dollars a year in revenue. And so um, I'm, I, I couldn't be more prouder to be a coach and a mentor to uh, this Woodpreneur community. And if you are looking for something else, you know, and, and I should say this too, before you reach out and if you have a business partner, if you have a life partner, if you have anything just make sure that they're part of the conversation and they know what your goals are in your business and they are supportive, right? Lots of times to uh, people put the cart before the horse and they're not ready to grow. And it's really important for you to understand what your problems are, because that's the question that I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you like, what problems do you have? What's the challenge that you're having? Um, you know, are you feeling alone? Are you feeling lost? You don't know how to bring in leads, right? Like, and there's many, and I can sort of diagnose you like a, like a, like a doctor, right? Like I could diagnose you like a doctor and say, okay, this is what you need help on. And lots of times you just need a person to help you. And so, um, you know, I just got a text from a client, uh, somebody in the mentorship that I'm mentoring the other day. And, um, you know, I, I helped them sort of course correct with the things that they were doing so like if you focus and you know what to focus on then you will grow right like you will absolutely grow um and then you'll have money in the bank and then you can reinvest and you can you know put your kid in karate or dance class or you can get your new truck and you can add an employee and if you have some employees you can get a bigger building and a bigger shop right and you can start reinvesting that money in advertising and now instead of like building one or two things a month now you're adding five to ten new things a month like 
imagine that like that's the that's the point that i want to be able to get with you on and so like i'm i'm really excited for this uh just next phase right like and and if you resonate with me at all um just send me a dm at instagram.com slash acres of timber or go to woodpreneur.com and i again i have like a have a training that you can watch and you can see my mindset you can see what i'm gonna sort of train you on and um and we can take it from there all right so We'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming with guests next week, but I just wanted to come on uh, and just talk to you about uh, talk to you about uh, you know growing your business because that's what we're here for, right? Like it's cool to talk shop, it's cool to talk techniques, but like at the end of the day, the people and I'm gonna say this: this is who I want to work with. I want to work with people that are coachable, people that are have great values. That people that want to build stuff, like if you want to stay small, don't talk to me. Like don't, don't like, uh, don't reach out because I'm going to push you, right? If you want to grow a multi six figure and a multi, you know, potentially get to seven figures, imagine being able to like, you know, bring in six figures a month. Like that's what I want to help you to get to, right? Like if you see something bigger for yourself in your business, like that's who I want to work with. If you don't want any of those things and you want to stay comfortable, which is fine, you want to just live sort of check to check or project to project, that's, you know, perfectly fine. Uh, But that's not who I want to work with. I want to work with big thinkers um, and uh, and I want to work with people that take action, uh, people that don't make excuses. Um, And I'll tell you one last thing. So I had a mentor. I had a mentor and they asked me, they asked me. What do you want in your life? So as your potential mentor, I'm going to ask you, what do you want in your life right now as it relates to your business and your life, right? And so my question that my coach, the question that my coach asked me, like, what do I want in my life? My answer was I thought back to the first time that I, I started my business and all of my friends and my family, they all had nine to five jobs and they could never understand what I was going through. I got no love, no support. People thought it was whatever, but like I had this crazy idea with my first business it was a marketing company and um, nobody understood. And so my answer after thinking about that was, to, I said this to my mentor and to my coach, I said, I want a network of highly motivated and creative people that want more out of life. That's what I said. I said that I want a highly, I want to, I want to play with people and I want to operate with people that don't play at this level. They're playing at a higher level in life and in business. And that answer, that answer set off this chain wave in my life. And I started making moves. I started. And so like, that's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you, like, what do you want in your life right now? All right. Anyway, I'll see you at the next episode. And thank you so much for uh, being a devoted listener to the Woodpreneur podcast. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening to the Woodpreneur podcast, the number one podcast for the business and marketing side of the lumber, woodworking, hardwood, flooring, and sawmill industry. If you like what you heard, please give us a five-star rating and review. You can also tap into our community by visiting woodpreneurlife.com. Once again, that's woodpreneurlife.com.